Hi guys, welcome to the video. So today we're going to go over the concepts of uh, farming from the challenge. Um, now I know a few of you have mentioned this in other people's videos. Uh, I've never really seen a, a good video to explain it, so let's do a quick video here. Just show, uh, show everybody exactly what we mean by farming the challenge, okay? So, as you can see, we've got uh, one day, 11 hours left in the challenge. Uh, obviously I've been playing this all week and I am now at the final level of the challenge. Just pop in there. So you can see I'm sitting on round 25. Uh, I've got three tickets left um, and I've got one day, 11 hours left. Now, that should mean I still have 10 more tickets to generate in the next day and a bit. Um, but if I win the next event, I win a ceramic pack, which is awesome. But that's not what we want. We want more than that. We want we want to properly farm the challenge. So let's have a look at what the event is. So it's a motorsport times five challenge. So now it, it's two. The tracks are two mixed tra tracks, two grip based tracks, and a test bowl. Now I know from the, the motorsport cars I have, this is the best I can put out for that particular setup. Now. Um, show you what I mean so if I wanted to win this right uh, let's see I'll put my two off-road cars here now race number five I'll win it I won't win it by a huge amount but I should win it uh, race number two however I should absolutely crush because with performance tires that car is going to really struggle um, and it's a medium circuit, so there's a lot of off-road dirt racing. So I should get 100 to 150 points out of that pretty easily. Okay. Test bowl. Well, I'm going to lose that, but that's all right. Uh, I planned on losing that. Uh, twisty road. Again, I can't compete with that 2.4 uh, race uh, acceleration. So I'm just going to put in the very best grip I can and the very best acceleration I can, and minimise the loss of points on that. However, my big points are going to come here in the G-Force test. Now, you can see that he's got um, 69 grip and standard tyres on asphalt in the sun. I've got 94 points in slick tyres in asphalt in the sun. So I should be winning that by anywhere between 100 and 150 points. Now, if I can minimise the losses that I have on test bowl and twisty road, that should take me over the 250 point threshold to get me the three stars. But I don't want to do that. I want to farm this. I want to farm this to the point where I can get a, a win of between 150 and 200 points. So that I get two cars. And I can continue to play across the board. So, let's head back. Okay. Pick our motorsport cars. Let's pick something a little less, uh, a little less impressive. Uh, what do we have down here? What do we have down here? Got the Opal Manta. Now, the Manta will still happily win that race. 5.687. But what it won't do is it won't win that race by about 150 points. So if I go now, uh, Tesla, which we're going to lose. This is Wood, which we're going to lose. Rally Cross Circus, which we're going to win. And then this time, we only have 87 points grip and we have much slower acceleration. So at best, we're going to do a 100 point win here. That should bring us in, in that nice sweet spot that gives us two, two cars instead of three. Let's have a watch. So, as you can see, the acceleration of the landscape is nuts. So it really doesn't matter that I have so much better grip. All I can do here is try and keep close to him, uh, knowing that I'm going to lose, but at the same time, I'm going to get uh, no more than a 50 point loss. Okay, right to the end. There we go, we have a 62 point uh, car, which keeps up with the supercar. Alright, next one, there we go. Now, again, these two will be quite even on the track, performance wise, but then as soon as you hit the gravel, that's it. The, the rally car just goes off huge distance, and we're already up to probably about 100 point lead by this point. You can see in the background the, the landscape just looks nowhere, it's not even close. And we're going to find a couple of corners. Boom. So we've got 100. No more than 150 points here. There we go. 137. Excellent. Good for that. We're only 87 points ahead now because we lost the first race. And again here, we're on to evil. Much better acceleration. 
so at a high top speed. There should be no way that the Jaguar can fight in this. And that's exactly what you get. 50 point loss. But limited the loss of points to just 50. So that's my two losses. Now I've got only a 37 point lead. Here, however, look at the difference in work. That's a 25 point difference in work. 134 points back. So now I'm sitting in that nice sweet spot. 171 points. I don't want to win the last race by too much. But I'm dealing with the talent on the, on the concrete. That's a great performance. See? I only get a very slight lead here. There you go. Back onto the road. Back onto the concrete. Back onto the track. Win by 50 points. Total win. 221 points. Right in the sweet spot. Exactly where we wanted it to be. Go to the board. Only two stars. And two cars. And now we can repeat this. We know that this works. Uh, I'll fast forward it for the next race just to show that's that that's that how it works. So uh, two rally cross mixed, uh, two losses, and our points won. And I was fast forward because I want you to see the races. We just fast forward to the end. Let's get to the end. And we already know how many points we're getting. We're getting 321. So there's our two points. Now, because we know that we can continue to do this as many times as we want until the event finishes and then at the very end if we want when we still have one card left we can switch out that not quite so perfect car in the open manta we can switch out our not so perfect open manta for the perfect car for this event which would be uh, the Mitsubishi Lancer see we can bring that in the additional four wheel drive the additional acceleration the additional couple of points of grip should be enough to move that from 231 to 250 points so there you go guys there's there's the exact way in which we we farm uh, the last level of the challenge um hopefully you enjoyed this if you did you know hit like and subscribe i'm going to put a few more of these out in the next couple of weeks see what the response is um you know and if people like them i'll keep making them all right thanks guys